Hey, man, am I excited to see you. Hey, I'm John Glutch. I am the founder and CEO of the Glutch Group, and I am super thrilled to make this job posting. This has been a long time coming, something I've always dreamed of, and we are looking right now for an operations manager, really a second in command, someone to be my right-hand woman or man to help execute on all the crazy ideas that are coming out of my head, and I'm super thrilled to be able to talk about that today. So what I wanna do is just tell you a little bit about our company and then a little bit about the job to see if it might be something that'd be interesting for you. I always thought videos communicate a lot better than words can and you can get to know me a little bit and see if you know this is the kind of thing you'd be interested in. So our company, The Glutch Group, started in real estate selling houses, just me, for a lot of years. Selling a couple houses a year, doing okay, you know, but eventually got some great coaching, uh, connected with some really amazing team members and wow, we really took off. Became uh, one of the top real estate teams in Arizona and started growing and growing, getting bigger and, and more and more people and eventually decided I wanted to move to San Diego. My wife and I had always had a dream of moving to San Diego and so we did about four years ago. So it was running the team remotely at that time. We were doing about $2 million in revenue and had about 10 or 12 team members at that time. And it kept growing, getting bigger. And last year we started San Diego. And so it really kind of exploded last year, cleared a little over 3 million in, in revenue. This year our goal is over 4 million and we're at about 40 team members. And so we've gotten just this great group of people, incredible team members who really care about the mission. And our mission is to humanize the real estate industry by pre creating a truly exceptional client experience that helps people find home. And so for us, that, that idea of humanizing the industry is critical. It's core to who we are, to what we do. And it's what we talk about and think about every day. And kind of here's what that looks like. Google us, like check us out in Phoenix, especially because we've been there a lot longer, but San Diego too, and see what those reviews say. That's the fruit of humanizing the real estate industry is like the, the way people talk about us, the way they feel when they buy or sell a house using us. That's, that's what we want. We want them to feel like people. We're kind of the opposite of your bank, right? If you call your bank and you're gonna get a 1-800 number and you're gonna push seven buttons and they're gonna ask for all your information and then connect you to the wrong person in the wrong department and ask you for the same information again, it's the opposite of that is what we want, right? Is we want to do lots and lots of business, but we want to do it in a way where people feel cared for. Not only the people on the outside, right? Our customers, but even more importantly, the people on the inside. I've always believed that if we treat our, our team well, then that will flow out to the customers, right? To our clients. And so really critical that people inside the team feel like human beings as well. And inside that looks like, you know, in real estate, it can be a tough business, seven days a week, a lot of burnout, no family vacation, phone ringing all the time, right? And so we've got now a team and systems in place to help all of our real estate agents take real time off, disconnect from uh, their work, go take good vacations. And while that's happening, while they're disconnected, their clients are getting served too because we've got this whole system and all these, these team members there to help serve their clients while they're off on vacation. Just an example of what we're trying to do to really help humanize this industry. We've also got people overseas. So we've got about 15 people overseas in the Philippines and India that are helping with a lot of the administrative work, all the stuff that we do that doesn't require real estate license that they help out with. It's, they're just incredible parts of our team. They bless us in so many ways. It's a really special place to work. And we're growing. We're getting to the point where I can't do it all anymore. I have reached my limit of ability to execute on new projects, new ideas that are always kind of coming out of my head, right? And so that's what we need is a, uh, an operations manager, someone to take over. It goes by different roles integrator at a, at a bigger company be like a COO, really a second in, in command, someone to take the ideas that I uh, have as the CEO, as these are all very creative, visionary stuff comes naturally to me, and then make sure that those things get implemented in a thoughtful way, keeping an eye on the budget, keeping an eye on the team, making sure we don't burn people out, making sure the different departments know what's going on, you know, they're talking to each other. And I'm pretty good at that, but I've got limits and I need some help. And so what I'm gonna do is just kind of talk through some of the specifics, give you some examples of what exactly I'm talking about, what this role looks like. It's an executive position, this is a high level role. This is not a beginner role, this is not like fresh out of college role, this is someone with experience, someone who's got experience managing people, someone who's got experience implementing projects and managing high level projects uh, across different departments. And so I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of walk through the job posting here and give some examples of exactly what this role entails. Let me pull that up here. All right, and so what you'll do, I'm just gonna walk through these things one by one and give them a little more teeth so you kind of feel what, what I'm explaining in this job description. So we're hand in hand with my number one. Now, here's the thing, I'm not looking for a yes woman or a yes man. Uh, I need somebody to, to rein me in, you know? If I give you 20 ideas for a quarter, what are the three that really move the needle, that really serve our mission, that serve our team and our, our customers? 
how do we rein those things in and make sure that a month from now when I say, oh, I got a new idea, it's like, no, no, hey, remember we talked about this is the priorities. We're gonna, we'll, let's talk next quarter when we can implement some new ideas. Let's focus on these, right? So somebody to really have that collaboration with me or you know, maybe my idea is more important than what we decided to implement and to, to have the flexibility to say, you know what? I think that is worth exploring. Let's take a look at that. So my, really my number one, someone to really help serve the team's mission and goals and increase my capacity. Implement three to five high level projects each, each and this is, you know, really ideally this should be somebody who uh, has some good project uh, experience, who's done a good job of implementing projects at a high level uh, for either, either high level projects for, for a big company or if it was a smaller company, somebody who's really managed, you know, the whole enterprise at various times. Manage approximately five direct reports. That's about how many we have now. So about five departments that have uh, a head, a department head. And that person will report directly to you, right? And then you would report directly to me. So you are the, the, the intermediary between me and all of our department heads and making sure that they're serving the mission of the company, that they're working to accomplish their, their quarterly objectives, uh, their KPIs, make sure they stay on track, their, their vital metrics, the keys to what they're supposed to be doing, helping them stay focused on those things, and then reporting back to me how it's going, when we need to work on things, what needs to be improved. That kind of stuff. So have to have great uh, people skills to do this. Uh, hold yourself and department heads accountable for uh, quarterly objectives, KPIs. You know, really objective-oriented, outcome-oriented is an important part of this. Lead the execution of our yearly and quarterly business plan. So we're going to work on that together as a leadership team. But you're really the execution arm. You're the person who's out front, making sure that those things get done, making sure that the the, the vision gets served. Now I'm the face of the company. I'm the visionary. I'm leading the team meetings. I'm the one who's who's encouraging, challenging. You know, that's what I'm good at, inspiring, but really somebody to say, okay, that's all great. We all feel good. Here we go. Rah, rah. And now let's get some work done. Let's get down and dirty. Let's figure out where the shovels are and start shoveling. So we need help in that department. Remove big obstacles from company growth. Figure out what it is the company needs, what challenges we have. Lead cross to mental integration and cohesion. So it's not uncommon for me to roll out idea to the inside sales team and not tell the outside sales team, right? So the inside sales team's handling these new leads bringing in these new clients and the outside sales team doesn't know they're coming and they don't exactly know how to handle those people, making sure that kind of thing doesn't happen. So experience you need, here's a couple you know, uh, must-haves, need-to-haves to, for this role to really be successful. Strong leadership skills, including high levels of emotional intelligence, <clears throat> empathy, radical candor, integrity, a servant's heart are critical to this role, right? You've gotta care about people. It's gotta, at the end of the day, always be about like, what are we here for, right? Well, we all, in my opinion, Wake up every day to grow as human beings and to help other people grow. To, and that includes tons of that is really growing in emotionally intelligent, in intelligent ways to help each other, to care for each other. That's a huge part of this role. A strong ability to stay true to the current team objectives, say no to ideas and distractions. Ultra high levels of responsibility. I am, I'm a good operator. I'm good at input. We've got this far and have pretty good systems, especially considering the visionary skills I have. I'm, I'm a pretty strong operator, so I need someone who's stronger than me. It can't be, I can't be micromanaging and making, oh, you know, I think that's gonna get done. I'm not sure it's gonna get done. Like, I need this person to go, yes, it's gonna get done, to be ripping ideas out of my hand and saying, nope, I will take that, and it'll end up better than if you had done it, John. That's the kind of person we're looking for. Self-confidence and strong self-worth. You know, this, this job is gonna have days that are thankless, where you're dealing with cleaning up messes, problems that arise, challenges that people have that kind of thing. You're not, you're not leading, you're not, you're having one-on-ones with 30 people on a regular basis, the you know, department heads at various levels are working with the people uh, on the team as individuals, but problems are going to bubble up to you at the end of the day. And you have to have enough self-worth, enough self-confidence to know that it's not about you. The fact that that person's upset and came at you guns blazing doesn't mean there's anything wrong with you. You're not going to be defensive. You're going to understand that people have hard days and it's your job to help them kind of walk through that hard day and see things from other people's perspectives. A strong understanding of marketing is a huge plus. So right now we don't have a marketing director. I'm the marketing director. And so part of this will be, and we're a marketing heavy company. At the end of the day, real estate agents are a commodity. And the only thing that sets us apart is our branding, our marketing. If, if, we, if we don't brand well, we're no different than anybody else. So strong marketing background is very, very helpful. Not critical, because I'm a strong marketer and that can be, we can collaborate on that, but it would be very helpful to have some marketing chops for sure. Strong project management skills. Huge part of this job is integrating three to three, three to five new objectives each quarter. So for now, we don't have a lot of people integrating new ideas. Most of the people we have on the team are in the feet. They're out there, you know, shucking and jiving every day. You know, they're they're in the game 
at one level or another, they're either administratively in the game or in a sales perspective in the game, they don't have tons of capacity to generate, create new systems, to implement a new marketing idea. So for now, you're the, in, you're the person. You're the one who takes that new idea, that system that needs to be improved, that CRM that needs to get integrated, and manages the project, not doing everything, but manages it. So you have to have a strong project management basis. I'll give you an example. For right now, we have uh, a big train park day. We have 500 customers who come to this big event in Phoenix. There's all kinds of stuff. Marketing that needs to happen. We need to get people to the event, tell them about it, share it with them, make sure the vendors get hired, make sure all the balloon artists are there. I mean, all the stuff you can think about that needs to happen. It's not that you would do those things, but you'd be managing the people who would be doing those things. We don't have an event planner, you know, so we need you to be the event planner to make all of that stuff happen until we're big enough to have an event planner, right? So as we grow, you'll have multiple seats on the bus. One of them that will be a big one in the beginning is, is in particular is project management. Uh, residential real estate sales is a, is a bonus if you've been in residential real estate at all in some capacity. That's great. Lending, title, escrow, whatever. But it's not really critical. Uh, this is really more of a business operations role than a real estate role. Tech savvy. We are an international company. We run strong on systems. We have very system, uh, tech savvy people on the team. And you got to be tech savvy. We're, we can't be given tech support to the second in command of the company. We need somebody who's going to be very sharp, pick up very quickly the systems we're using. We're not using anything complicated. It's all pretty simple stuff, but you do need to be tech savvy. Thrive under pressure. There's absolutely going to be deadlines. There'll be times that are kind of smooth riding, you know, where we're not super busy. And then times that are just absolutely crazy pressure cooker times. So you got to be okay with that when that happens. Highly assertive with a history performing well under pressure when the stakes are high. Pride in your work and obsession for efficiency, constant improvement. We always want to make things better. We call it FEBC, faster, easier, better, cheaper. How can we be doing that on a quarterly basis? Strong dive to improve. Excellent organization, filing, time management, right? You have to be very organized. I'm an organized person. The team is really well organized. We need somebody who's got super strong organizational talent as well. So you're the superstar we're looking for. If this all sounds great, if you're unusually driven, challenge oriented, you love a challenge, you want to see things grow, you love... Startup mode, I mean, we're you know eight-year-old company, We've got a track record of success, but we're still small. And the big, big, big players in our space are three to four times our size. You know, there's not many of them, but they are out there. And I'm friends with those people. They live in our market. We're collaborating with those people and we've got rabbits to chase and I wanna catch them. So if that's exciting to you, if you're fired up, if you love to hustle, love to kick ass, you wanna get after it, click that apply now button. We've got a whole process for you to walk through. It's gonna be a little different you know, we don't, we don't do the standard, just send us a resume and then let's, uh, we got a whole a different way of doing things. So hopefully you'll find it exciting and engaging. I would love to hear from you. I hope to get to meet you down the road soon. Thanks so much for checking this out. Have a great day. Bye-bye.